Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne. It's uh, good uh, <coughs> to meet you. Uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, this is going to be a video. Uh, my first twenty-four hours uh, after losing my mother. Uh, I, I uh, if you. Have a watched a previous video of the interview that John Lennon did with my mother. Uh, 63 people have watched it so far in a day, and uh, it's quite popular. Um, you know, I just want to share my first uh, 24 hours with my mother. Um, you know, uh, people who hear that my mother passed uh, said they're praying for me and. Uh, and uh, they feel sad for me and I can't understand the pain that it would be. Uh, honestly, there's, there's absolutely no pain. Uh, the only thing that upset me was that uh, my uh, brothers and sisters and father didn't invite me to the funeral, to the memorial service. And uh, that was upsetting. And uh, um, my mother shared some things with me uh, that sort of uh, set my perspective uh, right, and uh, so um, I had a good time. Uh, my mother is uh, really amazed <clears throat> at how busy I am. She's she's uh, shocked that I uh, I can uh, be busy all day. Uh, uh, it's six thirty now. I got up about um, ten o'clock, ten a.m. Uh, two days ago, so uh, 10 a.m. to 6 is 8 hours and 24, 32 hours. <laughs> That's about how many hours the John Lennon book is uh, so far. Uh, so 32 hours uh, of uh, continued uh, videos, uh, continued uh, work and uh, being up uh, and uh, productive and uh, so um, uh, my mother uh, uh, watched me uh, do a couple of videos. Uh, she uh, watched me uh, interact with uh, people online. Uh, she seen me uh, interact with a friend of mine who's uh, you know, hiring her services out to a man. Uh, and uh, watching me sort of coach that girl and uh, help her. She rang me yesterday when she was going to have the appointment with the man. Um, these uh, girls on uh, these websites um, sort of hire uh, themselves out uh, to a man uh, for a certain amount per week or a certain amount per hour. And uh, they're sort of acting like escorts, but they're not working for an escort agency and uh, that's legal in Australia. And uh, so um, so it's really interesting. Um, and she watched my counsel and me helping the girl and uh, me uh, having feedback about uh, what uh, she asked the thing, uh, the guy and uh, what they discussed and how uh, into him, into her he was and how excited and I had a good conversation with her, uh, two or three phone calls. And uh, mum's just been um, interacting with me and watching me and uh, it's so good uh, for her to be here. Uh, she, uh, she never realised that uh, my life was so busy and, uh, and I can achieve so much. Uh, she's uh, been with me for 24 hours and she's seen me uh, interact with uh, the girl I'm seeing uh, for, for coffee that I'm paying to see for coffee and she's uh, the other girl that I'm paying to see Brooke uh, she uh, you know rang me three times today and uh, we had good phone calls and uh, she's listened to me like run like an online church meeting with four people and uh, she's watched me uh, post multiple posts on Facebook and she's uh, watched me uh, learn things and uh, uh, describe things and post good posts on Facebook and compose things and uh, she's pretty amazed at uh, 
how I can read and how I can respond to things and how I can say things. And uh, she's uh, impressed uh, with my life. <laughs> it's so funny uh, to know that um, I only find out 24 hours ago that your mother's uh, are dead, but she's more alive uh, to me uh, than, uh, you know, uh, ringing her up. She's seeing everything uh, through my eyes. It's like she's uh, inside me all the time and uh, she's hearing my thoughts. She's uh, commenting on what I'm thinking and what I'm deciding and what I'm doing. Uh, she's able to read my computer through my eyes and she can read what I'm reading and uh, she can interact uh, and make comments on what I'm reading and uh, she can make comments on what I'm saying. Uh, as I post on Facebook, she's reading what I'm saying. It's really handy to have her in my eyes so she can see everything she can hear my thoughts she can hear me constructing sentences uh, she can hear this video uh, she confirmed to me a couple of things that are happening that are pretty amazing uh, in the supernatural and she confirmed it and uh, she actually uh, talked to a friend of mine um, and uh, she uh, talked into his mind uh, as he was uh, talking to me on chat on facebook and uh, she confirmed that she was there and he even confirmed that some of the supernatural things that were happening with me uh, were really happening and, uh, and uh, she confirmed, my mother confirmed with me that the supernatural things were really happening and I was starting to spin out and starting to worry. Um, I was getting worried about Amber, uh, my, uh, my escort that I see for coffee and I was sort of, uh, a little bit uh, upset with uh, how it went last night and uh, uh, after a few hours of reminiscing and uh, and uh, chewing over what happened, uh, she was able to uh, correct me and say, hey, uh, she's the one heaven has chosen and uh, you need to focus your attention on her and just realise that all these sorts of warfare. And uh, so she's acting like a Holy Spirit, she's acting like a coach, uh, she knows me intimately. Interestingly, she's not calling me Matthew. Uh, she's not calling me son. Uh, she's calling me mate. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people from heaven uh, call me mate. Jesus calls me mate. And um, I asked her about her calling me uh, Matthew and uh, call, calling me mate and, and not son. And she said, uh, we're like brothers and sisters now. Um, we're brothers and sisters in the kingdom and uh, you're my, my mate, you're my friend and I'm down here to coach you. So she's moved from mother to friend and uh, and it's like a, a new friend has come into my life, uh, one that is my mother but she was my mother in a former life and now she's just someone who intimately knows my life and, and uh, is going to be a coach for my life. And so I'm really uh, happy and uh, really motivated. I know, uh, you know, someone should be crushed and I don't expect like a fallout. I don't expect um, me to totally lose it. I think that uh, heaven has got me. Uh, I'm on the wings of eagles and uh, I'm very happy. I always, uh, all my life, I wanted my mother to be on the same page. Um, you know, when I was thinking that I was going to be one of the most important uh, Christians in the world, uh, she always thought that was visions of grandeur and delusional thought. And uh, she she thought, uh, you know, so many bipolar people think that they're Jesus or think they're a second Mary Magdalene and uh, think they're the bride of Christ and they're only uh, the only person that Christ wants to be in his bride. And they have all these crazy thoughts and, it's a bipolar sort of vision of grandeur to be the most important person in the world and the most important Christian in the world. And much of that flows from self-esteem issues and low self-esteem and, uh, and delusional thoughts where uh, the person feels that they need to be the most important person in the world so that they'll be important. So their self-esteem can uh, feel good. And uh, she's really shocked and surprised that it's true that uh, one day I'll be as, Bill, as big as Billy Graham was in the world. And uh, 
it was always my heart to be an evangelist. Um, I've got a real uh, evangelist focused heart. I've done about 15,000 uh, personal prophecies for strangers in the streets um, and uh, always wanted to be an evangelist. That was my childhood dream. And uh, I've been a, a writer, I've been a prophet, uh, I've been a teacher. And now, um, now God wants to move me into evangelism. And uh, this is something uh, that's really exciting. It's, uh, writing a book on John Lennon is a real novel thing. And uh, having my mum confirm uh, some of the harder things for me to believe in uh, is good. And then having a second friend uh, talk to her and confirm the things uh, is certainly good. I wish I had a whole lot of prophets around me that I could double check things with and uh, ask their opinion of. Uh, but um, God knows what he's doing and he needs uh, me to move in faith. And so, um, you know, the song, Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, um, you know, don't, don't worry about um, where I am and what I'm up to. And uh, don't uh, worry that I'm going to break down or worry uh, my mother die was the best thing that could ever happen to me. And, uh, and you need to uh, understand that and believe that in the kingdom. This is the kingdom way. And uh, they never die. They just go on to be part of the great cloud of witnesses. So, um, so I'm in good spirits. I'm very happy. I've been very productive today. I've achieved some great things. And uh, my mother looks as though she'll be here in the morning when I wake up. God bless.